My name is John from Bum Bum from Vegas. I'm Jack. And I'm Jake. We're going to be talking about the trade deadline. So, do you think the Red Sox are buy or sell on this trade deadline? I mean, I really think it all depends on the series. The Rays are three games ahead of them in the wild card, um, and they're playing them now at Tropicana Field. Um, they, they won last night, so that's good. And if the A's can, if the A's will start losing a lot of games, the Red Sox will gain games on them. And I guess if they win this series, they could be buyers. They could try to get Jason Vargas from the Mets. They're going to be sellers, and the Red Sox obviously need Wait a second, pitchers, I, we have so. a caller. All right. What's your question? What's up, guys? Um, do you think the Indians will be buyers or sellers at this trade line? Because oh. they are close to the wild card. I think the Indians will... But do you think they'll push for a playoff spot? I think the Indians are going to stay right where they are. They have great talent like Jose, Jose Ramirez, Carlos Santana, Francisco Indor, and a great pitching staff led by Corey Kluber and Trevor Bauer. So I think the Indians are in a great spot right now, and they can push to win their division. I think they're going to be sellers, on the other hand, because they've won their division for a few years in a row now. It hasn't really been close. But now that the Twins are actually performing well, they're not going to be able to catch up to them. And the wild card is also going to be tough, a tough spot to get. Um, so I think they might have to sell and start a minor rebuild for the next few years. I think, personally, they're definitely going to be buyers because they're ahead of the wild card by two games of the A's and the Red Sox and the and there are four games above the Red Sox in the race. And we have another caller. What's your question? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello. Oh, um, do you think that the Red Sox will be buyers or sellers at the trade deadline? Um, like we said earlier in the show, I definitely think they're going to be buyers because they need the back end of the bullpen. I've and heard uh, about um, Jose Abreu possibly coming here, possibly getting Madison Bumgarner, um, a guy that can maybe help their bullpen as well as start games, and maybe he can be a long reliever because you see Chris Sale hasn't been doing well lately, although he's been improving, like just in case of bad starts. He could be go lots of innings. But also, if the Red Sox do get Madison Bumgarner, Chris Sale could go into the bullpen as a long-term reliever, kind of like if the Red Sox are getting blown out, he could go in there, pitch five or six innings, because it wouldn't really matter if he gives up three runs in that spot. Um, but if he does do good and he starts to find his groove, you could either keep him in there or you could bring him back to his starter, depending on what he's feeling comfortable with. And I think the Red Sox could definitely get Steven Matz from the Mets, pitching his best season yet. And obviously Mad Bum, who's a great pitcher, has been for his, for his whole career. The thing about Steven Matz though is that he's really inconsistent. His first season was really good. His second season he was a little bit off. He had a high ERA in the, I think it was like 5.1. And th this season he's been good as well. So the Red Sox need consistent pitching staff to go with their offense. All right, we have one more caller. What's your question? Hello? Hi. We, you hung up from me. Do you think the Red Sox will be buyers or sellers at the trade deadline? We, we, uh, we already, already answered that question. Sorry. Oh, you hung up on me. I couldn't tell. All right, that's all for the Vegas Bum Bum Show with John, Jake, Jake and Jack. Jack.